Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Fallout 4 on the PC. Oh my god, I am so <laughs> goddamn hyped up just from this main menu. Oh boy. But we did get a review code. That is why I'm able to play this a couple of days earlier, and man, I am fucking excited. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> oh, so we're gonna go ahead and head into this. Uh, but I do want to at least do a little bit of talking, get some of my hype out of the way so I'm not just completely gushing. So if you want to skip uh, just to us uh, starting, there will be an annotation on the screen. But for now, holy shit, <laughs> it's finally time for Fallout 4. Fallout is one of my favorite series. I never played Fallout 1 and 2 because they're kind of just not up my alley. I did try to play them, but they haven't aged very well in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> there's only so many times I can die to rats in the first area before I can be like, meh. But I really enjoyed Fallout 3, and especially Fallout New Vegas. And so what I'm expecting Fallout 4 to be end up being is pretty much a better looking Fallout 3. <laughs> I'm not expecting uh, something super amazing. I'm, I'm not going to think it's going to be the next coming of Jesus. But my height level is at the point where it's like, yes, we get to explore a better looking wasteland. We get to shoot things with better mechanics. We get to have settlements and shit like that. That's awesome. And weapon customization, I don't know how much I'll be able to do, um, but we'll see. You know, it's... This is a game where the level cap is supposedly not there, or at least <laughs> you can get every single thing. It's, it's basically like Skyrim, I think. Uh, I think Skyrim, you can just kind of keep on leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. I remember I was like level 100-something <laughs> by the time I finished Skyrim. But uh, we're going to be getting started. I am going to be playing on hard of Goonie. I would play on, like, very hard or survival, but I have no idea what that's going to do exactly <laughs> for their health. And so since we're starting off blind, uh, we're going to just kind of be cautious. If the game ends up being too easy, then we'll stick on uh, very hard. Uh, if the game ends up being actually hard on hard, we'll just try to, uh, we'll kind of push through. <laughs> we'll just try to play better or something, right? Uh, but here are all the settings. We do have everything generally maxed out in terms of graphics. The graphic settings are not here. <laughs> they are like all mo or most Bethesda games in the launcher option, so you're not going to be able to see this stuff until later on. But let's go ahead and get this started. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing,
is that war... War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> that whole speech was us just practicing on the mirror for the Veterans Hall? Uh, okay, alright, here we go. We get to do a little bit of character customization. We're gonna try and get this guy to look a little bit more ethnic, like myself, and then we'll even try to adjust hey, my turn, big guy. This chick too, because I think I actually have no idea. But I'm I'm just gonna assume that if I change her looks, that might be important too. Alright. Just slide in here. <laughs> Let's go through some of the options. Uh so face we can go through some of these for a nice base. Let's see. Uh, which one would be good? Oh my god, this looks like fucking Will Smith. <laughs> uh, I guess I could be a legend. Uh, what the fuck? That guy's rocking it out. Let's see if any of these are good. You know, this guy actually looks kind of like my dad. I could use this as a base, but I'm not that black. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm just trying to find someone with very similar features to me, but I don't actually know my own face that well. It's funny, that. Alright, let's start just kind of going through here. So, how does this work? Uh... Is this gonna end up- Ah! <laughs> okay, alright, that's good. It's the whole grab and mold system. Where I can just kind of go, oh, whoop, 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 okay, except this. I, I don't know what it's gonna oh. look like from the side. Looking good. Please don't judge me. My forehead changes, honey. <laughs> this is for the veterans hall tonight. They'll approve. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna puff the cheeks out a little bit because I definitely have puffy Hello, cheeks. Handsome. Even when I even if I lose weight and become super fit, I will have puffy cheeks. I think it's just part of genetics. Uh, I don't want a crooked jaw. I try to just kind of make this part extend a little bit further. Not so much like that. We'll put that back in. Go back in there. You look as good as the day we met. I don't know if that's a... <laughs> that's supposed to be a compliment, but it sounds almost like an insult. I'm changing my face and you're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, not bad. You look as good as the day we met. You're saying you didn't like me when I was what? But that was the American dream. I can't believe I just did that. American Dream! <laughs> Alright, this guy's gonna look nothing like me. Such a cute nose. At least at this rate. One of the fucking- I could just pull out a picture of myself. But, no, we're just- we're going from guesswork. From memory. Alright, let's mouth bottom. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Why can't I be both? Uh, let's see. Eh. Eh, I don't have that big of lips. We'll just shrink it back down. Alright. Scale. Oh! They'll go even faster! <laughs> I think. I'm gonna have to dabble through this. But I did want to show at least a little bit of how it works. Before I did my jump cut. Mm, you have great lips. You know that? Aw, shush you. <laughs> You'll be getting the treatment too, don't worry. This is the future. Everyone gets changed. I clean up pretty nice. Okay. I have been trying to <laughs> modify these characters for like an hour. Uh, and that includes a couple of scraps, you know, resetting the faces to see what I get right in. I think the conclusion is that Facial creation while in Fallout 4 is definitely more advanced than it's ever been. Uh, it's just not enough to be able to capture my visage. <laughs> it's just, there's not enough options to actually mold my character to look like me. So we're just gonna say fuck it. <laughs> it's, it's good enough. He's my general skin tone. Um, 
that's about all he shares with me, really. <laughs> I can't, I can't make many of the other features that I would like to. I tried to also modify the wife to look a little more, a little bit more like my girlfriend, and stumble across issues there as well. So, I think most people will probably be fine with this facial creation system. Although after spending an hour with it, I'm sad. <laughs> I really, really, really tried. I fucking looked up pictures of myself, went through my phone, everything. Oh my gosh! But I'm, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I am ready to see what happens in the world of Fallout. Huh? I'll just be a minute. <laughs> Okie dokes. Hmm, just getting ready. Also, I was not kidding. Look at this. I spent an hour. <laughs> I spent an hour on character creation and hardly had any results to show for it. All right, yeah, here we go. We got ourselves a nice little house. Got our Mr. Handy box. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. What? Another fine product of General Atomics International. I know we have our robots do many things, but surely you'd be like, ah, eh, button press. Although the dryer's already activated. All right, I want to look at everything. <laughs> Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. <gasps> Is that a baby? That's my baby. Whose name's Sean? Sean! Oh, that is a baby that is generally my skin tone. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You enjoy that, kiddo. Ooh, you're special. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. I wonder what I'll grow up to be. That's a solid question. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Codsworth. We need breakfast and various things like that. To think, one day he's gonna learn how to drive. Oh, don't say stuff like that, man. We know the future. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Everything is sad. <sighs> But for now, we, we're living our lives. We are... It's a normal day. We're gonna go speak at the Veterans Hall. Because we were in the army. And we have to talk about the state of the world. And how war... War never changes. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, I guess he just put it down here. I don't even pick up the cup. I just go. I suck it through a vacuum tube mouth. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Oh, she gets the newspaper, or just a second copy of it. Mm. More the same. Oh no. Oh, so Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. I would be kind of nervous of a... <laughs> of a robot with saw blades for hands. Neighbors? I heard somebody walk by. Ah, okay. Where's the front door? Oh, there's the front door. I'm like looking at all these other places. Jeez. Looks like the milk got delivered. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. In one go? Jeez. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. Oh, my wife's got a law diploma. Good on her. Good morning! 
vault -Tech calling. Oh, vault -Tech. Uh, okay. vault -Tech. Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Okay, alright, why is it of urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Oh. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Neat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> go away. No, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Okay. Uh, sarcastic. No. Yes. No, tell me more. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Ooh, okay, time for our... Delegation of points and our name. All right. Tell us about yourself. Vault Tech needs to know what kind of citizen you are to ensure your future happiness. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a hard one. So I would love to just go by Gaul. Uh, because that's what I am. But I know that Mr. Godsworth has a couple of lines of dialogue relating to your name. So we're going to just go by my real first name, which is Anthony. All right. And then in regards to our points. We're gonna have to see. So, I mean, this is probably not gonna matter too much because we're gonna be able to, uh, usually in Bethesda games, you're able to redo your stuff after like the tutorial segment, or at least the Fallout games. In all the Fallouts, you do the tutorial segment and then it goes, are you sure you want your special stuff to be like this? But for now, I am gonna build towards something that I kinda figured out for myself. So we're gonna go with six strength, four perception, two endurance, six charisma, Four intelligence and then just even out agility and luck. So the reason I have six uh, strength and six charisma so that way I can get a lot of things. <laughs> six charisma will allow me to do, at least when you look at the perk uh, list, which you can look at online, um, it's going to allow me to pretty much get a lot of the things from the going or from the get-go. And that's the same thing with strength and perception. Obviously, in the future, we'll be able to increase these things or whatnot, but I think, I think this is a good... This is a good blind build. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For yeah. you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> good answer. I have my moments. Aw, Sean. Hello. has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Okie dokes. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Hey, hon. I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. All right. See, there you go. Mr. Anthony. Oh no, not a volatile situation from communist China. I've seen the list of some of the names that people can go with. You can choose stuff like John Cena, and that 
Mr. John Cena, <laughs> give some of that paternal affection to your child. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Again? All right. Here. Baby giggles. <laughs> Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what? Watch TV instead? No, that sounds fun. Head on out. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Why did you have to close the door on the way in? Uh oh. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Uh, we should go. Oh we, we need yeah. to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir. Oh, Codsworth. You're not, he's not approved for this. He can't go to the vault with us. That's a shame. I'm surprised we didn't hear all the other shit going on outside. All the helicopters and cars and shit driving around. Oh wow, this really was local. Oh boy. Hi, look. I'm literally on that list right in front of you. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, thank God. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. That's super convenient to have a vault tech vault just chilling out on top of a hill behind our house. All right, good job, vault tech. Now we just gotta get inside real quick. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Oh Jesus. Oh boy! Holy shit, we got in can barely We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we'd all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's get into the vault. How many people actually got down here? I, from what I can see, like seven. Hey there. Up the stairs. Proceed in an orderly fashion. And here's our overseer. Howdy, Up sir. Stairs, please. All right. You all right? This is our new home. Well, hopefully the insides are a little bit better than the outsides, because this is kind of uh, intimidating. Whoa! What the heck was that? Excuse me. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, it looks fine. I guess they're scanning us. 
Huh? Over there. Seems good. Take a seat. Just step over to the table. You're not cheating us with too much radiation, right? I mean, we just had that above us. <laughs> Brand new vault suits. Ooh. I'll take it. It's down the hallway right Thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Okay. How do I equip this suit? See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive here. Did you have any family outside the city? <gasps> oh, God. We've lost everything. We'll never see them again. Oh, God. Please, these people need some space. Sorry, I'm just... I'm sharing the same experiences as them. The world just blew up outside. We hardly got in. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Uh, these don't look like very comfy rooms. Doc, you can explain this situation? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Excuse me. Take your time. We've got all day. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Okay, it's a decontamination okay. pod. Could you help me? <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. I didn't even see me put on my suit. <laughs> it just was on me. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the hall. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. All right, decontamination. Secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. Oh, they tricked us! They said it was a decontamination, but it was a fucking stasis pod! What are you guys doing? Okay. No! No, no, hey! No! What the fuck? Just to take a fucking baby! You could've just punched her! I still wouldn't have appreciated, but at least she would've been fucking dead! Ah, oh, jeez. Come on! There has to be a release! 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. <sighs> Shoot. I was hoping she'd just kind of like be woken up and uh, disappear into the wasteland and I'd have to find her or something. Is everyone dead? All dead, or they're never gonna be able to get out. Fuck, I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm just examining some of the controls because there may or may not be trouble in this place. Obviously, we're gonna be in the future, the wasteland times. gonna take everything from the stupid vault. They screwed us over, man. You were supposed to have nice, comfy rooms. I don't mind the stasis part. That's actually kind of clever, right? Put people in a stasis pod so they don't have to take up resources and then eventually give them rooms. Oh, jeez. Not giant cockroaches! At least I got a security baton. Safety first. Is there anything in here that I could take? Welcome to Robco Industries, term link. Okay, alright, what's going on in here? Vault 11, or 111, security instructions. Confidential. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term subjects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Ah, oh, fuck. So, a security staff are responsible for maintaining uh, installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to de deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with fault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Ah, oh, Jesus. So it's not even, like, a decent vault. <laughs> it's not even a decent vault. It it's just legitimately a test one again. God. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of uh, Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for uh, resident intake and res or escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents should uh, not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Oh. Why does Vault Tech have to be so fucked up? Okay, what do the science staff end up having to do? Uh, monitor our signs. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. What even kind of research could you guys do? Obviously quite a lot, but it's also pointless. Damn the Vault Tech guys, man. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. Yeah, that fucking douchebag that we saw at the beginning. I wonder if he's alive. Probably not. Security pro uh, patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, and enforcement of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. We really gotta find out what happened in here. Uh, all clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault -Tec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault -Tec personnel uh, may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault -Tec, including government and, uh, government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. What? Vault Tech will tend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. So they're just gonna leave us down here? <laughs> 
Vault 111 is, a cl is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while waiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from Vault Tech, the Overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period, unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So they're, they probably left a long goddamn time ago. Alright, here we go. We have security logs. October 23rd. God! It finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads Egg Egg tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment. For a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we're smiling at them all, all the time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? No, because if I had actually known that it was a cryostasis thing, I mean, as a player, I would have gotten in. As a person, I would have been like, what the fuck? And then gotten in. I like how there's only like four entries here over the course of a year. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we could start rebuilding. Okay, he said a few months. And this next thing was like three months later. Alright. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are, are even saying the all clear signal's never coming. We can't stay here much longer. That's for sure. It's just not, it's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient. Focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. And so what ends up happening the month after that? April. The main door access in the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science teams watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Uh-oh. Looks like this vault revolted. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt crack on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer by opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, or medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Jeez. And this is 2078. They're dead. They're dead. This is, this is, I believe, taking place like 200 years in the future. Oh, no holotapes. All right. Extermination is everyone's job. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to exterminate these guys. I'm taking everything. <laughs> I have to take everything so that way I can sell it all later on. Alright, here we go. Okay, that was an interesting attack. Let me check the controls real quick. Because I have no idea what the controls are exactly. I want to know how to like slow walk or anything. Uh, sneaking left control, but that's also going to be in like crouch. So, eh. Wow, oh, that's jam. There's no walk button. Nah, that's annoying. <laughs> we move at a really fast pace. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, if I hold C, it makes me walk instead. I was gonna say, if there's no walk button, that makes me really sad. I really enjoy when I can just kind of not sprint at everything at full speed. Bring it on, cockroach! That was easy. Alright. Roaches? What the hell? Dude, it's the apocalypse. Of course there are giant roaches. I wouldn't expect anything less. Only they can survive nuclear blasts, after all. Cleanliness is godliness. What? <laughs> I, I had to look back. I was like, wait, godliness? Uh, okay then. Damn, no foods left over. Oh, another terminal. 
Maybe someone wrote more logs in here. Oh! One of the holotape games! Red Menace! Start game. How do I start game? Oh, space. Oh, this is basically like Doc Young. How high can you get? I don't know. I've never played Donkey Kong before, so this will be interesting. I just have to jump over the barrels, though, and dodge the missiles, apparently! Ooh. Here's a suit power-up looking thing. Ha-ha! Ah, okay, I see what it's for. It's not for anything great, you just kind of get invincible. Uh-oh. This is weird. <laughs> No, I'm dead. That's fine. All right. Yes, we're creating the game. I don't want to spend too much time here. I will eject the tape, though. Thank you. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. <laughs> you can only play one game. You best respect your privilege. Whoa. Rick, Tim, did you what the hell is this? The high scores? Top 10? Yep, there you go. <laughs> Good job, Rick and Tim! Everything is sellable in the apocalypse. Alright, no, damn it. Not my butt. I don't want to sit down. Get back up, boy. I have more roaches to beat. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Maybe? Oh, no, this is just the bunks. It does look like everything was taken from here. I don't know if it was from people raiding the vaults or if the actual staff left on their own. That's something we're gonna have to find out. Maybe the people who stole the- uh, our- our kid and killed our wife were staff members. I mean, they knew of the place. And how would they know of the place unless they were either staff members? Descendants of the staff members, or something. What happened here? Where is everyone? Maybe that's the overseer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh look, a clipboard. Maybe it was the same clipboard that allowed us to come in. Nah. Whoa! Fuck! I didn't expect to get- I'm like, looking at this roach, and all of a sudden- Ra! Hey, water fountain that restores my health. That's nice. Oh. We found the overseer's office, and that means the overseer's evacuation tunnel is around here, right? Maybe not, actually. Is this all that's left? Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Ooh. A gun! Who would just leave a nice little gun here? Press F to view your available favorite items. Stim packs restore 30% of your max health, heal damage limbs, and can be favorited for quick use. So I press F3. Or if I just press 3, I'll be able to do that. Gotcha. 304 to use a favorited item. What about 9? That's listed too. Oh, this is the overseer's room. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take all of his guns and all of his ammo. Ooh! No! Look at this cool gun! Nice. Coming back later for you. Yeah, we're gonna have to remember that if I ever get up a master lockpicking skill, which is an inevitability. At some point, eventually, I'll just be like, all right, I need to put points into lockpicking. Anything here? Oh, more rounds. Thank you, Overseer. Oh my god, I have over 106 bullets already. Gotta keep moving. Oh, I was gonna try and sleep to get like a, a XP bonus or something. <laughs> okay, Overseer's Terminal. Let's see what he's got in his logs after a quick drink. Uh, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term... Okay. This includes the administration of life uh, measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are critical or capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Ugh. That is smart, but wow. <laughs> I thought that was a cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. 
Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Oh, wow, the Overseer's has a little bit of a scientist himself. Uh, Overseer's Log. Oh boy. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech Supervisors came up this uh, week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of, uh, the notion of leaping forward in time? I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. That isn't a neat thought. I just wish we had been warned about it. I also wish my wife didn't get shot over a baby! It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff were, was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things have ha happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. <laughs> I questioned them pretty goddamn immediately, but you said they were decontamination things, so I was like, fuck it, fine. <laughs> so wow, everyone made it in there. I thought that maybe we were lacking a few people, but apparently not. System malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. Their cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may be sent- uh, maybe. Uh, may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope that systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Yeah, or else someone will wake up and have to see the apocalypse. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think that we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane! The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... It just ends. There's no way to continue forward, maybe? Yep, alright. He just... and then... mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're gonna have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mounts to feed. Well, that's why they shot you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? I wonder if it says anything different for the uh, overseer. Hold up. Operations protocol manual. All clear and evacuation. Uh, Voltec will be evacuated from the overseer. Oh, well, it's a lie. And the overseer even knew that. <laughs> now let's open the evacuation tunnel. Ooh. That's a different evacuation tunnel than I'm used to for the other vaults. <laughs> Usually it just opens up a big hole in the floor and you're like, Oh wow, that was totally not suspicious. So we have this. Oh, and more goddamn roaches. Alright, I can handle this. <laughs> Press Q to target enemies in vats. Alright. Uh, except. All right, guns can target specific limbs. Melee weapons cannot. What? That's bullshit. <laughs> Look at the tiny rad roach. <laughs> he was joining all of his friends. That would have been really bad if I had tried to actually take the hallway on with a melee weapon or something. Wow. So they definitely improved third-person shooting. <laughs> Now it's legitimately like a normal third-person shooter. We're even, we're even directly over our right shoulder. Will it go back if we're like this? Nope. Oh, we're just... Okay, so we can adjust ourselves and eventually we're more zoomed out. I'm usually gonna stick in first-person. But I'll go in third-person when we're not, like, fighting and stuff.
Press left control to sneak. While hidden, you do increase damage. Avoid bright light. Use melee attacks and move slowly while using cap blocks to remain undetected. Alright, to perform melee attacks while wielding a gun, press left alt. <laughs> I was gonna try and switch to my uh, security baton. Hey there, friend. <laughs> Alright. Uh oh, bad roach. We got ourselves a new Pip Boy. Let's look through things. Change sections with A and D. Oh, like this. Press tab to exit the Pip Boy and to enter, press tab again. All right. So can I just click on these two? All right. I'm just checking. I don't want to always like press A or D on stuff. Well, there's our character. Here are our specials, and now we can actually look at the perk chart. Yeah, here we go. All right. So, once we start leveling up, we'll be able to actually put points down into some of these varying different uh, perks and abilities. And the way that I have myself built up is so that way I can get quite a lot of these. So, at 6 strength, I can get uh, strong back, so I can carry more weight if I'm carrying way too much shit. At 4 perception, I can get all the way to the locksmith ability, which means I can, I can eventually get better locks. Endurance 2? I didn't really care about endurance. <laughs> We're just gonna have to try and avoid taking damage for a while. Charisma 6 is gonna allow us to do stuff with the Settlers. Intelligence 4 will allow us to... Do Gun Nut? Oh, yeah, okay. Three, 3 Gun Nut, 4 Hacker. Agility 3... That was just a throwaway stuff. I just threw away stuff for Agility and Luck. I didn't want them to be at, like, 1. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess it's time to get out of here. I thought the vault door was malfunctioning, but maybe that was just a different way around it. Are you saying you might be... a soul survivor? It's possible, buddy. But I say we have to find out what happened to Sean. And avenge Nora. Even if it turns out that they stole the baby for a righteous purpose, fuck them, they shot my wife. Okay, now how do I get out of here? Just jump over? Alright. <laughs> I was hoping for that to, like, open up. <laughs> Hold up. Examining. Uh, possibly radioactive water. We're not gonna drink that. <laughs> Farewell, Vault 11. I hardly knew you, really. Let me check my inventory real quick. How much carrying weight do I have from the get-go? 260. Alright. That sounds like a good bit. <laughs> do you want to change anything? Well, I do want to change a slight bit of my appearance. Okay. I would like to change my color to chestnut. <laughs> I feel like that's more appropriate to what I want to be in terms of my colors. Alright. It more fits with me. And then we're fine with everything else, because I gave up. <laughs> I gave up if I tried to make this guy look like me. He is just... he is just a dude. 
And then for our special attributes, we're gonna just stick with what we have now. I know we had a chance to look at the perk chart, uh, and that just kind of reaffirmed that I think everything that we have right now will play out to what I want, at least for the beginning. And then eventually, we'll, we'll, we will be able to re, uh, raise all these special things to level 10, because there's no level cap. 